Now there's a lot of really dangerous critters out in the wild. What can endanger you and your livestock? Now everyone knows about Chupacabra. It's been around forever, and it needs blood to survive. It doesn't seem satisfied with the blood of random varmints in the woods. It's almost like it needs to cause a lot of heartache when it takes its dinner. Now, there's a couple different signs of chupacabra in the area. First, it's its tracks. They hop, not unlike jackalope, but their feet tend to be more parallel, and there'll be three claws on each foot. Sometimes it's hard to tell unless you're looking at mud or snow. If you see foliage destroyed with teeth marks, you're probably looking at jackalope. If not, you might need to tell the neighbors. Now, second will be a sulfur smell in the area. Now, these beasts are said to come from the bowels of the earth, and that smell never leaves them. If you don't live close to a natural hot spring, and all of a sudden it smells like one, it's time to warn the neighbors. Now, the last sign you might see is its skin. Now, these things never stop growing, as long as they got their food, but they're the sort of beasts that will grow out of a skin and leave it behind. If you can get the skin cleaned up, it'll make for good material. But before that, tell the neighbors. Now, Chupacabra will take a few rifle shots to take down in an emergency, but normally you don't want it to get that far, especially if there's a load of them in the area. So if you see these signs, you'll want to gather the neighbors and make up several bonfires all around the houses and livestock. There's something about wood burning that they can't stand. Keep the fires going for at least three days and they'll have cleared the area.